I'm going to show you how to make a very simple sensory bottle that you can use with your kids to help calm them down when they are feeling frustrated, um, angry, very upset, or just needing a, a moment to calm down and refocus. This activity includes the use of vegetable oil, so this might not be the best activity to do together with your child, especially if they are a little bit younger and might get things messy. Um, if you're okay with a mess in your kitchen, then go for it. Um, but the end result of this activity, having this sensory bottle, is what is most important for your kids. And that's why I'm showing this to you. Here's my sensory bottle. It started with an empty water bottle and it just has a few very simple ingredients that you probably have on hand already and it is very very easy to make and I'm going to show you how to do it in the next few minutes. Start out with an empty water bottle. Just cut off the label. Fill the water bottle about three quarters of the way up with plain water. Next, you should color the water with some food coloring. This can be a good way to incorporate your kids by letting them pick the color that they want their water to be. You can also add glitter if you have it on hand. The next step is to add the vegetable oil almost to the top of the bottle. You can see in this picture how the oil and the water have separated. The next few steps are very important. First, you want to make sure that the lid is back on your bottle and securely tightened. I then use duct tape to securely fasten the lid to the bottle. You could glue your bottle lid on, but I don't have that kind of glue, so I just used some duct tape I had on hand. And I put a few layers of duct tape on and then some clear tape, which you'll see next. In this picture, you can see the clear tape that I put over the duct tape. This just gives an extra layer of protection around the duct tape, but I wanted to make sure that I could still see through the bottle with adding some extra tape. This is really important to make sure that your child is not able to peel off the tape or open the bottle in any way because you do not want this mess anywhere in your house. Sensory bottles can be a good tool for your child to use when they are having emotional moments. You can have your child um, play with this by themselves or you can sit with your child and talk about the differences between when the water and the oil are separate or when you shake it up and you can see bubbles and it's a big mixture altogether. This can be a good language building activity or it can be a very good calming and solo activity for your child as well. I hope you enjoyed this simple tutorial on how to make a sensory bottle for your child. And remember, having sensory activities available for your kids to enjoy when they are feeling frustrated or upset is a very good way to get them to calm down on their own and find different ways to regulate their own emotions.